أهلا وسهلا أهلا وسهلا That means welcome أهلا وسهلا So you can stop there You say أهلا وسهلا That's very neutral But if you want to tailor make to direct it directly to one single male You say Bika أهلا وسهلا بك To a female أهلا وسهلا بك So note the ending the attached pronoun again, ka and ki. Ahlan wasahlan bika. Ahlan wasahlan biki. Now, ya yeah, vocative, you can use that to call attention of somebody before you call their name. You say, ya yeah, Imran. Ahlan wasahlan bika ya Muhammad. Ahlan wasahlan biki. Ya Zainab. So notice all these elements. Ahlan wa salam phrase is the same when directed uh, at a man or a woman. But if you want to personalize it, you will say Bika or Biki, depending on the gender. Ya, if you want to mention their name, you can use the vocative uh, particle. Ya, and then a name. So Ahlan wa salam Biki. Let's try this out. Masmuka. Ismi Imran. Ahlan wa sahlan bika ya Imran. Ahlan wa sahlan bika ya Faisal. Talking to a female now. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum as salam. Masmuki. Ismi Zainab. Ahlan wa sahlan biki ya Zainab. Next. To a man or a woman, you can just use a uh, very neutral phrase. Fursa Saida. Fursa Saida. Pleased to meet you. Although this is this phrase is used to mean pleased to meet you, let's analyze the individual vocabulary words. Fursa is me an opportunity. Fursa. Saida that's me happy. It's like a happy opportunity. So that phrase is used for please to meet you. Forsa Saida. And it's neutral. We are not personalizing it to anybody. So that's what, why we are not identify uh, the, the gender. You can use it to anybody. Forsa Saida. Response. Tasharrafna. Tashar. Emphasis. Tasharrafna. We are honored. Tasharrafna. Now. The response, Fursa Saida Tasharrafna. From the beginning, for instance, if I meet you, I will say, Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam will be your response. Uh, Masmuka, Ismi Faisal. Ahlan wa sahlan bika ya Faisal. Ahlan wa sahlan bika ya Imran. Fursa Saida. Tasharrafna. Now, to a female now, I will say, Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum as salam. Masmuki. You will say, Ismi Zainab. Ahlan wa sahlan biki ya Zainab. Ahlan wa sahlan bika ya Imran. Fursa Saida. Tasharrafna. Okay, how we have now um, the poster in front of you is about the Arabic letters in their joint forms. Arabic, of course, is not written in isolate formats. It's written in joint form, coming from right to the left across the page. Having thoroughly studied your alphabet from alif to ya in isolate format, this will introduce you to how the letters are joined. You can see at the beginning you will see the alif. You see the gap between them, which means it cannot be joined to the left. The same thing can be said for the dal. You see the gap there as well. And the val, and the ra, zayn, and wow. 
that will be discussed with you shortly and inshallah will also show you how to achieve this joining process the hand movement you will see that on the board shortly but just to have an overview you will see the bar bar the beginning bar in the middle and bar in the end and same thing for ta and tha the jim you will note that all the tails have been uh, cut off when it's in the joint form and they're straight they will be on the line that will be explained to you later on the same thing with ha and kha dal of course I told you about that one of the naughty letters and dal ra and zain and wow that's naughty letters so inshallah just have a quick look at this uh, uh, poster which will give you a very clear color coded overview of what um, um, it's like when the letters are joined Okay, now we're going to move now to the board to explain to you exactly how to achieve that. Okay, the hand movement and the position of the letter, you know, when they are joined. Now, I need to explain to you that Arabic is written in a joint form. Each letter, where it's necessary, is joined to the following letter. Let's... Have a look at the boat family, for instance, ba, ta, and tha, in isolate format, and how they join. This is our ba, one dot below, ba, and ta. Tha. Because it's the same family, so we're going to treat that shape uh, in one go. Now, take bar for instance. This is bar beginning. Note how that I curtail the bar. So it's not in a full shape now, just at the beginning with an extension in readiness to join with the next letter. Now that's the extension is coming through now. The next letter, which is ta in this case, uh, ta also extend itself. So we have beginning of the ta is here, the corner. I'm putting two dots there rather than in the middle in the isolate format. So extension coming from the bar to join the ta and ta it extending itself to join the tha. Let's look at it. that's the extension, continuation of that extension. And the last letter will be formulated in its total shape. So we have ba, the beginning. This is the mid, uh, middle, the middle shape. And this is final one. So when it's written, it will become like this. You write the whole lot, formulate all the shape first, and then you go back to put the dots and the vowel. So you do ba, ta, tha in one go. Then you go back, dot for the ba, two dots for the ta, and three dots right in the middle for the tha. If you have any vowel, like uh, ba and ta and tha, you then, after you've done your uh, dots, you then go back to do your fatha, a, fatha on ta, ta, and fatha on tha, tha. So you need smooth writing, and then you go back to do the, the necessary item. One more time. Ba, ta, tha. Dot, two dots, three dots, fatha, 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 ba, ta, tha, fatha, fatha, fatha. That's the principle. Any curves, you cut it off, you straighten the letters on the line until you reach the last one, which will, you know, write in it its completion completely. Now let's do another letter. Uh, three three letters like a jim ha and kha 
Now, Jean, remember how to write it? Lie, and then capital C, line, capital C, line, capital C. Jean, ha, ha. To join them, because you have all these tails, you have to cut that tail off, link it with the next letter until you reach, reach the last one, then your last one will be uh, written completely. Right, let's try. So the gym, for instance, you write gym straight. Now, you, when you are writing this particular family, the, uh, the, you, you, you extend the letter, then you reposition your hand, not continually in this time. You stop, reposition your hand, and then write the next one on top of it. This is like a chair on which the next letter is going to rest. So, the Jin and the Ha extension, and then the last one, which is Ha. So, you have Jim, Ha has no dot, and the Ha has a dot. So, we have Jim, Ha, and Ha. Note how the tails have been removed to make sure that they are sitting on top of the line until you reach the last letter, which is going to be in its normal glory in, 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 uh, in, in writing. Right, so that's Jim. Ha. Now, you know the alphabet, Ba, Ta, Tha, Jim, Ha, Ha. Right, next letter, what are they? You have four letters now coming, and that's a Dal, Val, Ro, and Zain. or Za. Right, those are this one. Uh, Dal, Val, Ra, Zain. Now, you note that I omitted the Alif, which is the first letter, which is, should be here, write it here, Alif. There's a reason for that. The reason is, there are six letters in the alphabet that uh, cannot be extended to join the letter to their left. We call them naughty letters. There are six of them. You have Alif, Dal, Dal, Ra, Za, the six, number six is Wow. Right, let's see how they actually work. I'm going to introduce one of them. Let's say if I introduce one of them after, uh, after here. Let's say I introduce Alif here. How do I join them? So, this behaves, these are very, you know, well-behaved letters. They will extend and join. Now, Ba extend to join Ta, Ta, and Ta will join Alif. Now, Alif will cannot be extended to the left. So you leave it as it is. The next letter, you just write it on its own. So you have Ba, and Ta, Alif, and Tha. So that's why we call this one naughty letter, because it refuses to extend kind of hands of uh, friendship to join the next letter to his left. If we put dal or val or ra or za or wow, it's the same thing will happen. Let's try. So you have ba, ta, and then dal. Next, you just say right. That's your father. That's your dot. Two dots. You cannot extend this dal to join to the left. Uh, for simple reason, really, because if we do that, the dal is going to lose his identity. He cannot be recognized as a dal anymore. So those are the note letters. Inshallah, once we uh, we check this up in the book, and then we practice, and then you'll be able to see further explanation on what is happening. Now we've done now ba ta tha jim ha kha. You know about dal dal ra za and alif and wow how they behave. Okay now I need to explain to you further about the 12 letters we previously learned how to join. Now on page 16 and page 17 of the book plenty of exercise for you there to do later on. But let me just call your attention to the letters here on these pages. Ba, 
ta, ta marbuta, which I will explain to you exactly what the meaning of ta marbuta in a second. Fa, jim, ha, and kha. Now, let me just put the book down for one second and explain the hand movement. Ba, isolate. Ba, ba at the beginning. Just nice it sitting on the line. That's ba, the beginning, extension to join the next ba. Continuation of the of the line, if it's too long, and the end, final bar, joint bar, 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 ta, isolate, ta, beginning, ta, middle, Ta, the end, and join ta, 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 ta. Oops. Tha, isolate. Tha, beginning. Tha, middle. Fa, final. Joined fa, fa, fa. Fa, fa, fa. Jim. Isolate. Jim, beginning. Jim, the middle. Jim, the end final joint gym 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 ha isolate format ha beginning ha middle ha final joint format Note how I am, when I write the first one, the second one in the middle, I stop and lift, reposition in my hand before I write the middle one. So, ha, that's a chair on which the middle one is going to sit. Middle, another chair for the final one to sit on, and then write the final one on top of it. Ha, 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 ha. That's how you write this family. Ha. Isolate. Ha, beginning. Ha, middle. Ha, final. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Let me explain ta marbuta to you as I promised earlier. Ta marbuta is a tad of ta as opposed to the open up ta, ordinary one. That's an ordinary ta. You have tied up ta, is this, with two dots, or this format, two dots. Ta marbuta has its significance and the the reason for it but that will come much later in the in the series but you need to know that tamar buto is only found at the end of the word it cannot be at the beginning and you will not find it in the middle that will be the last letter of whatever word requires tamar buto now this type of tamar buto is written like this when you have a naughty letter before it Alif, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zain, or Wow. Um, 
for instance, if I give you four letters, which we found, okay, I'll give you the uh, ha, jim, ra, and tamarbuta. That will be joined as follows. G, uh, ha, middle, jim, in the middle, ha at the beginning, jim, in the middle, ra, because this is a tam, this is a naughty letter, it cannot be extended. So tamarbuta, we use this stand alone. Tamarbuta. That's how it's going to look. Look what, what is going to happen if we have another tamarbuta, but without any naughty letter before it. Let's see. Such as, for instance, if I play around with these letters, I start with this down with Jim and Ra and Ha Tamarbuta. Let's see what happens now because this Ha is not a naughty letter, it can be extended to the left. Let's see, Jim is the beginning, Ra Ha extended and tamarbuta. We are using this type of tamarbuta and because so you have your gym, so gym, ra, ha and tamarbuta. Compare and contrast. Here we use this type of tamarbuta. Why? Because we have one of the naughty letter before it. And here we use this type because the letter immediately before tamarbuta is an ordinary letter which can be extended to the left to join tamarbuta and that's exactly what happened hence we have this shape so one more note before we uh, we go is this tamarbuta you will see another letter which you've already learned it's written like this but without two dots that is no tamarbuta that is ha you may remember that's ha and that's another shape of ha. Also, it's written less likely at the end when you have uh, any naughty letter before it. And if you have a letter which is not a naughty letter before it, and it's at the end, it also be written like this without uh, uh, dots. For instance, if I give you uh, an, an example, for instance, you can look at, um, let's say we have wow. Jim and this ha. So it's be written like this. Wow, Jim extended to join the ha. That is ha, not tamarbuta. Tamarbutas always with two dots, just like an ordinary ta, two dots. But if you find the same shape, but without two dots. That is ha at the end. But if you have this one without two dots, it is also ha at the end, and that will be if you have uh, one of the naughty letters before it. Um, right, okay. Now you have the sample of this in the book. So go and check uh, page uh, 16 and page 17 where you find the uh, explanation as well as an uh, exercise which you can do and you will confirm what you've just learned. Well done, progress been, been made.